An important aspect of testing agents' SNMP implementation is verification of the SNMP counters. The best way to verify counters is to send different quantities and types of traffic to the SNMP agent to verify that the counters counted correctly. You can use the ICSIA traffic generator with Silver Creek for comprehensive lights out counter testing. Step 1 Getting set up. It is recommended that you install Silver Creek on the ICSIA 400 or ICSIA 1600 chassis and use its pre installed ICSIA software. If you can't install and use Silver Creek on the ICSIA chassis, you must install the ICSIA client software on a computer that has a copy of Silver Creek. Please refer to ICSIA's user guide on how to install the ICSIA Tickle client. You may also reference the ICSIA extension manual found on our website at the following link for further information. You will need your username and password to view this page. Step 2. Verify your ICSIA setup. Follow the quick start guide in the ICSIA Tickle developer guide and make sure you can run ICSample TCL.TCL as instructed there. Step 3. Verify Silver Creek and use the ICSIA Tickle library. First, set the environment variable that is used by Silver Creek to find the ICSIA Tickle library. To do this in Windows, edit your autoexec bat file by adding the following text. This can also be set in your advanced system properties. This is found in the Windows control panel under System, Advanced, Environment Variables. To verify this variable was set correctly, run Silver Creek Test, Test 53.configuration.0.tickle found under the Ixia Silver Creek counter test. If no error window mentioning the environment variable results, you have set the variable correctly. Step 4. Configuring Silver Creek. In the absence of an error window, you should be viewing the first window in the Silver Creek configuration process for interfacing with the Ixia chassis. Test 53, Configuration.0 configures Silver Creek to work with the Ixia traffic generator. The first window prompts for the IP address of the traffic generator. Enter this number, then click Done. Now you need to enter the card slot number you are using on the Ixia chassis. This can be easily determined by observing where your network cable is attached to the front of the chassis. Next, enter the port number used on the slot you just listed. The next dialog prompts for the rate of packets to be sent. This is measured in packets per second. If too large a number is chosen, your agent may be unable to handle them all. The next window asks for the values that identifies the interface that is to be tested. If only one number is listed, you can safely use the default. If more than one number is listed, you may need to use Silver Creek's Nib Browser to verify the number that corresponds to the device you will be testing. Make sure the Use This Value Next Time box is checked. The final window asks for a source IP address to be used on test packets. In most cases, you can use the default listed value. Click Done and the configuration script will run. If it passes, you can then continue using this test suite as you would use any other test suite in Silver Creek. If desired, you can also alter and or save this configuration by clicking the Test menu, then on Advanced Configuration. Next, highlight Chapter 53, IX, SC. You can alter configuration values by highlighting the submenu values and clicking on Edit. When finished, you can click on Save to avoid having to re-enter this information next time you perform testing on the same device. Step 5. Testing. Now I'm going to run a test to demonstrate the testing process. For this example, I will run test 53ip.ipinreceives.1. This test verifies that IP in receives can count packets correctly. It will send out 1,000 IP packets containing a UDP packet aimed at the UDP discard port. The packet rate is the desired packet rate you configured earlier. This test has passed. By looking at the test details, I can see the before and after values for the IP in receives counter and the counter incremented by a value of at least 1,000. Tests may pass that have a packet count value larger than the amount of packets sent out by Ixia. This is because frequently testing is done on an open network and packets may arrive from other locations on the network. By default, if the counter value is greater than or equal to the amount of packets sent, then the test will pass. If you desire to do more precise testing in a closed environment, the pass-fail criteria can be changed to require exact counts for packets sent and packets counted. All of our ICSI extension tests should be used as templates in customizing tests for your particular needs. In conclusion, you can see that this extension contains 97 sample tests that make use of both the ICSI series of chassis 
and Silver Creek's APIs to more fully and comprehensively test the SMMP counters. By using the Ixia series of chassis to generate specific kinds of traffic at specific speeds, Silver Creek could check the product's counters for accuracy, syntax, overflow, and rollovers.